Rakesh, I welcome you to Expo Hub. This video is about replying to email coming from specific sender. If you would like to know that, this is the video for you. And your one click would make a world of difference while you watch the video. Okay, so let's see the example. Think your manager has sent an email or an email that comes from your team where you have to reply to the team every time. Let's say daily assigned task report, IT operation to work. So there's a team who is sending a report or your manager is sending a report to you or your team as a team lead and you need to work on it. Or somebody has to reply to this email, hello sir, that we have seen all the um, activities or all the uh, incidents or all the tickets and a member of my team has been assigned or any such incident you can think of where you have to reply to a specific person how to do that so just think this is the incoming email and this is the task and you need to reply to this person only not to all the emails so i have already created a workflow so let me run it and show you then we will begin to create one by one so the execution is completed let me check the email so you can see that the reply has come let me open the reply hello sir my team is assigned to the task and we we started working on it okay so there is an auto reply which has been sent so let's see how to do it so the very first activity that you'll be using is get password so this is the activity so he, this one here you'll be typing the password of your email account and create a variable which will store that password securely okay and get imap mail message which i have already discussed in lot many videos so i would not like to spend more time so this is what you will be setting up okay your port number your server and your email and your password as the variable and i am reading all the unread emails the top five only i am reading at this moment for the demo okay now once this is done remember you do not want to reply to all the emails let's go to the inbox and here you can see there are so many emails coming from different different people in different different domains and you do not like to reply to all you want to reply only to a specific person okay so this is the email who has sent you hello team please find the report and start working on the tickets so this is the email you wanted to reply to probably he's a manager or it is coming from a higher team or something like that on a daily basis and you would like to set a bot for this so the context is clear for the moment let me delete this so i have marked it as unread so this is the email we have to work upon okay so there are a couple of stages first is read all emails so in our case we will read only five okay so for that what i'm doing i'm using a get imap mail message and i'm reading all the five messages and once you do that you want to store it in some variable for that i'm using a variable email collector so this part is clear okay just i'm reading and storing inside a variable wonderful now the next thing is if i go to excel file uh, so this is the excel file a master file that i've created where whom you want to reply here you need to define let's say today you want to reply to this person tomorrow some other person all you have to do is open this excel file and update the email address over here okay and that way it will automatically pick the details and whatever uh, you know things you want to you want to type a specific body or whatever you want to type you can make this happen okay so this is what the excel file is okay so the very first thing i am doing is i am reading an excel file using a read range activity within the excel application scope and here i have created a data table called master data table so master data table will contain this data which will have from subject you know the subject is so and so so you want you want to make a condition if the sender is so uh, or the subject is so so that is why i have created an excel file okay so once the data table is created what i want to do is i want to 
loop through so for data table you have to use for each row okay not for each okay i want to loop through all the email and store it in a dictionary so my second job is store the data in a dictionary okay for that you have to type add to dictionary many time you will not find add to dictionary then go to manage packages and here go to all packages you have to use this microsoft activities extensions so this will get you the add to dictionary okay microsoft activities you need to install so once you have this add to dictionary here i will be dealing with the string type so why i am saying string if you go back to excel file it is going to loop through row by row right these are all string type that's why i am taking the dictionary as string okay so i have used the dictionary string string click on okay and here create a given name to dictionary control k and you can give a name i think i have already created so master dictionary is the dictionary name and the key what would be your key my key is row okay guys so i have declared the dictionary uh, so let me explain it once again key row title dot to string means all these things are the key and all these are value the admin set things are the values so when i access uh, master dictionary you know within bracket i will say from then the value would be this okay so that is the meaning when i say subject the value will be this okay that is the uh, meaning of the usage of the dictionary okay so this is done so i have used a for each row so i want to run this for each row in this data table right so mention the data table i forgot to do that master data table and here your for each row right the incoming data table is master data table so now the dictionary is set okay and one more thing guys go to variables and ensure all of your variables are in the main sequence okay it is all set for the main the scope is set for the main sequence okay now i have accomplished the second activity uh, you know i read all the emails now using this i read all details from excel okay so this two activities are done now the third activity is send email okay so how to do that now for that i will use another loop this time i'm using for each okay i'm not using for each row for each okay uh, and i wanted to loop to all the emails right and find which email i want to reply because i don't want to reply to all emails i want to reply to specific email that's why i'm using a for each loop loop so i can iterate through all the emails and then find that specific email and then send the email uh, email reply to that email right so for that so all our emails is stored in email collector now within for each okay so when you set for each i always say it type argument okay for type argument go to browse for types and here because it has to work on the mail messages 
okay this is the one you have to select just type it you'll get it okay all set now i'll be using a if condition here i will say item dot from so this is the from of the email okay dot address is equals to is equals to what this one right should be this one okay for that one i have used a dictionary you remember i have already created a dictionary which stores all the values so i will use that master dictionary within bracket double quotes the field is from if i say from the value will be rakesh right so you don't have to hard code so you can use the excel file and change it later so you want to send to more to some other person or the manager changed or whatever so that can be manipulated quite easily you don't have to hard code so this helps dot to string okay and this also you can make it to two string just to be more comfortable so item from address dot two string is nothing but it's iterating through the email and finding one by one who is that sender who is that sender who is that? so when the sender meets master dictionary from dot two string which is from the excel file that is where it will execute okay now here inside the then i am going to use the send smtp so send smtp activity i have uh, many times discussed so let me also tell you so these are the things you have to set it you can just pause the video and uh, you know remember the port server and other things make a note of that okay your own email address you have to put password okay now in the send smtp activity what i am doing uh, master dot dictionary is my file from dot string is my so this will contain the email address whom i want to reply done condition met then it will reply then subject um, should be the same subject what the sender has sent so sender said i need a report or whatever he says and you have a generic reply to that saying yes uh, we are working on it um, so generic email for that the same subject should be there so re plus item dot subject so item is nothing but containing all your email right we are looping okay now the body in the body i have again written a template let me show you the template simply i am whatever it necessary hello sir uh, with after the space uh, in a new line it will write my team is assigned to the task and we started working on it kind of acknowledgement and it can be of any form you like isn't it okay so you have all set let me run it and see if our workflow is successful or not okay before that let me so the email is here uh the bot should reply to this email okay let me run it okay let me go back uh so here you can see uh the reply has come hello sir my team is assigned to the task and we started working on it okay hope you understood the entire workflow it's quite simple just that only thing that we have used is a um, dictionary okay and uh, we have used the if condition and with that is executing the send smtp mail message within gmail okay thank you very much guys for watching this please do not forget to hit on the like button that is something we really need please do hit on the like button and do comment your questions any kind of questions or queries that you have around this activities please do question uh, comment and this is also coming from a comment i am doing a video uh, which has come as a comment in case you have any such request please do comment i would definitely love to create a video on that thank you very much guys you guys have a wonderful day